Hey YouTube, uh, this is me Wolfness again. Uh, of course, thanks for dropping by again. This is uh, of course part two of how to improve your gameplay in Dead by Daylight. Like I said before, like my skills aren't the greatest, but some people do have some struggle to go rank one. There are boosted rank ones. I'm not gonna get in depth with it like last conversation, but this is uh, this is uh, part two for how to execute your gens properly and you'll be like what and again we're gonna go with Fangling again because she's a small structure so uh, structure sorry and uh, let's get in the game now we'll go from there see you guys in okay guys now we're in the game here so uh, I got I got a buddy of mine named TNT to help me so I say hi TNT Okay, yeah, of course you guys are my stream uh, stream enough. Uh, TNT is a uh, team of teammate of mine for the forty to five. Thank you for him being here uh, to help me out. But anyway, you guys might be wondering, what do you mean by executing generators? Like I just do generators and leave. Unfortunately, in high a lot of high level uh, killer plays, if they can only catch one person and gain gen rush, which is pretty common, common, uh, they will condition uh, the survivors. In a certain way. What do you mean by conditioning? Is that they will protect a certain uh, generators, such as uh, like this generator here, which de over there, and one right there. You should see it when well, my person in the way, but I'll move over here. So, what do you mean by conditioning? Is that they will they will make sure to patrol these three generators that survivors can't do a generator. These if if uh, it's a killer, is a faster killer. Or maybe you could place traps, right? Usually it's really hard, almost impossible for a survivor to to get three generators. So this almost gives a guarantee 3k or 4k for the ki uh, killer, not survivor, my bad. Right? Um, but yeah, you can see here, it is uh, like it is very hard for survivors because that unless you guys are survivor fans, that even that is still hard for them to finish all three generators. So let's... Let's check how fast can this go, okay? Give me one moment. Let me move. Let me teleport to the rock real quick. Okay, guys. Because of the power of editing, now I, I teleport to the rock. So I'm gonna get TNT to show you how advantage of a rock. Remember this, guys. This is not where all the maps are. Okay, the maps. All maps have different perspective, but this is the map. It's probably the most actually balanced map to show the difference of skill level of a survivor and a killer. That's why I use this map for example. Anyways, TNT, can you run to each generator and say hi to see? Uh, to show everyone where all the generators are. Okay, let's see. So, so that's the first generator. Now he's going to the second one. You go to the second one, whichever you're going to. Okay. Okay, on, on my screen, he, I liked. Okay, no worries. Uh, then he goes to the second one. So, that, so, you can see how fast he went. He could patrol all three pretty fast. But, okay. Uh, TG, can you just go do one more time? Just do a fast, fast one, no swing. Just go straight to each one really, really fast. So you see, he went through each one within like how many seconds? Maybe less than the two seconds. And how much two seconds can it give you in time, timer wise? And someone just went live on my stream on my left corner. You see, say hi to that person, fed. But anyways, so yeah, see, this is where we see in here is that it, it's really hard for a survivor to just do three jennies. You just think that oh, let me just. Let me just gen rush this. Uh, yeah, but if you gen rush wrong, it, it would just give killer uh, such a huge, uh, huge advantage. So if you maybe example, we finish that generator there. That, uh, leave that sorry, leave that generator up, and maybe finish one of these center ones. The killer will have to uh, go out of line of sight of everyone. But in this site here is that the killer could easily see all, everyone here. All the killer needs to do, if he really wants to, he can just stand here forever. And what's going to survive going to do? So, but yeah, I hope, uh, guys, I really hope this helps. Uh, like, I know in I think low level killers, even some high level plays, you don't see this much often. But a lot of killers do literally condition you. And like, if you run into some killers, like maybe Billy, Nurse, Doctor, Spirit, it, it's just it's it's. The chance of winning is really low, uh, even for our friends. But yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoy it and uh, say thank you to TNT or this video will work. See, you guys, you guys have a wonderful day. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> then you have a good day and you have a good day, guys. Bye.